Changing your current relationships and attracting positive influences in your life is on you. And that's okay. I can tell you from personal experience, it's magical and so empowering to know that you have control over how people treat me and what I accept. And when I started owning that about 10 years ago, it wasn't easy, I'm not gonna lie, but the changes that I saw in my life and the people that came into my life are just amazing. Because I shifted my self-talk around what I deserved in relationships, I went from a funny and retrospect but rough dating scene to creating space in my life and my heart for this amazing man who is now my husband. Maybe I'll share some of those funny, awful dating stories another time, but I feel like I could almost write a book about them. It was pretty spectacular sometimes. Because I was always clear on my expectations for myself and for my future partner and because I knew the boundaries and energy that I wanted in a partner Dustin arrived in my life and filled all of those roles so perfectly looking back our relationship moved very quickly we went on a big adventure camping vacation in Costa Rica before celebrating our three-month anniversary we moved in together after only dating for like five months but it all felt right because our energy for what we wanted and deserved in relationships matched our self-talk around what we wanted to give and receive was in alignment. You can do this in all of your relationships, not just romantic ones. You can shift the energy from what you want to attract in friendships and work colleagues, how you want your family to see you. It all starts with owning the responsibility that you hold and making sure that your self-talk and your inner energy is what you want to attract. So take a moment right now to own that with me and own the responsibility for that. This is an exciting and beautiful moment because this is your chance to change your life and your relationships dramatically. And don't worry, I've got a step-by-step -step process to help you through it. Number one, create alignment with your self-talk and expectations. First, take a moment to think of what you specifically want in a relationship. If this is coming up with a blank or abstract ideas like I wanted them to be nice to me, start thinking about what you don't want. I think you don't want to feel ignored, probably a safe bet. You want to feel respected. And what does it look like for you to be respected? Take some time and really think that out. And then look at your self-talk patterns. Are you treating yourself in the same way that you want to be treated? Or are you treating yourself in the way that you don't want to be treated? If you're ignoring your own needs and not listening to your body and what it's asking for, that's the energy you're sending out. And that's what you're asking the universe to send more of. You're also showing other people in your life how to treat you, to ignore your needs and know that you'll just drop everything for them. The first step is going to be a little bit tough and this might make you sad, but with all things, awareness is the first step. So you need to notice the similarities between your self-talk patterns and how people are treating you right now. Step number two, is to learn how to prioritize yourself and set healthy boundaries. So remember, every time you say yes to helping someone else out, you're saying no to something else. And often you're saying no to yourself and saying no to cooking a healthy meal at home or saying no to exercising that day or doing that self-care, the meditation or yoga or whatever it is. Every single time you say yes to something, you're saying no to something else. And the other way too, every time you say no, you're saying yes to something else. That's just the way it works. And by slowing yourself down when you're deciding whether to say yes or no, you're giving yourself the chance to think about what the opposite is. So ask yourself, if I say yes to this, what am I saying no to? Beautiful soul, you should be on the top of your priority list. And before you think it, no, that's not being selfish. When you're strong, balanced with low stress and you're taking good care of yourself, you're gonna be able to give so much more energy to the people around you. So sure, you may have to say no to helping a friend out at that time because you're gonna prioritize getting out for a walk or going to the gym. But when you pick a time that works for both of you, you're gonna be able to show up as your best self for them. And this again comes back to going within and deciding how you wanna prioritize yourself, not others, yourself. And this brings me to my next point, number three, seek to find balance, not perfection. You're human, and that means that you don't know every little tiny detail that's in the works behind that yes or no decision. There are just too many things going on, and sometimes you'll agree to help someone out thinking that you have the time, and then you'll find out later that you don't, and this will require a little sacrifice. That's okay. You're gonna try and find better balance, not perfection. If you were to stand up on one leg right now, your body would be making all kinds of tiny micro adjustments to your ankle muscles, your knee, your hips, your core. Balance is a dynamic and moving thing, not solid. So when you're finding the balance of prioritizing yourself in your life, there are gonna be those little micro adjustments as well. And sometimes the scale will tip towards giving more of your time than average, and sometimes you'll have all kinds of extra time for yourself. Don't try and find some rigid schedule of the exact number of hours you're gonna to dedicate to helping others and being there for the important people in your life. 
that's an illusion. So take a moment as a part of this dynamic moving target and make a decision that will get you as close to that balance as possible. And before I sign off for today, I want to remind you that you don't have to compromise your values. If someone isn't treating you in the respectful, supportive way that you deserve, love yourself enough to speak up. And if that doesn't work, maybe it's time to create some distance. And I know that you can't remove every unhealthy, toxic relationship in your life. Some of them you're just stuck with, but you can figure out and decide what distance looks like for you. How can you set boundaries that prevent you from getting hurt and feeling drained? Start there, and then next week we're gonna talk more about how to set up healthy boundaries with toxic people that you're stuck with. Thank you so much for joining me today, beautiful soul. If you found this episode helpful, please help me get the word out. Take a screenshot right now on your phone and share it to your Instagram stories or Facebook. And share it with your number one takeaway from this episode. Don't forget to tag me in it, at Self Talk Remedy, for a chance to get a shout out here on this channel and to also get entered into winning a monthly prize at the end of every episode i leave you with a mantra affirmation for the week and so this week the mantra that i have for you is this i am worthy of putting myself first i wish you all the peace love and light this week beautiful soul we'll see you next tuesday